So it can often be a little frustrating getting everything lined up in a two gang box, three gang, or especially a four gang box. So you'll put your light switches in, your outlets, you'll start to tighten down these mounting screws, and then you'll take your wall plate and you make sure everything lines up so you can fit them within the two slots, but also making sure that it is level on the wall. The dance comes in now where you have everything where you want it, so you take your level off, you take your wall plate back off, and now you try to tighten down the rest of the way. Well, as you tighten down, the light switches or outlets will commonly shift on you. So all that work, you're kind of going back and forth and it can be a bit of a pain in the butt. So what I do is I actually have these templates where I'll have each type of wall plate that I'm working with and I'll drill holes such that I can access the mounting screws from the outside. Then with it just held in place, I can take my level, make sure things are lined up, and then take my Milwaukee ECX number one screwdriver or a Phillips head or a flathead and then I can tighten those down from the outside, making sure everything is staying in place and not having to go back and forth, taking the wall plate on and off and getting it lined up. So now I'm done with my template. Then I can take my actual wall plate here, line everything up, and then be confident that I'm gonna get everything to line up once these screws are tightened down. Now one other thing, uh, which I wasn't doing for years, is as you're tightening down these screws, for a nice fit and finish look, you're gonna wanna either leave them all vertical or all horizontal. And then that will result in a wall plate that is level on the wall all your screws are in the vertical or horizontal direction and it just looks really nice. Now let me show you how easy it is to make these templates. And then at the end, we'll also jump back and show you how to correct a crooked light switch or a crooked outlet, uh, which is a very classic issue that you can run into. So you just take the wall plate that you wanna make a template out of and you'll flip it over after removing the mounting screws from your outlet or light switch that's gonna be used for reference. Then from the back, you'll use a Sharpie and mark the center of the mounting slot on each of the sides. Now, once you have that marked, what I'm gonna use is a step drill bit, but you could also use a 7 16 or half inch, depending on how much clearance you have. And that's gonna be a little different for each wall plate, just depending on if it's for toggle light switches, rocker light switches, or duplex outlets. Here I'm drilling half inch, so I'm stepping that drill bit down to the half inch mark. And here is what the completed template looks like. Another tip is remember to get unbreakable wall plates. I think that makes sense for the ones you're installing, but especially for the templates you're making. If you get the cheaper breakable versions, drilling those holes will usually shatter the wall plate itself and it's just not gonna work out very good. And it's probably a pretty good idea to take an old wall plate with you because there are three main colors of almond, light almond, and white, which are very easy to identify when they're next to each other. But if you're at home and you think you have white, depending on your wall color and if you don't have another reference, you might actually have light almond. So it can be a bit confusing and hopefully will save you a trip to the hardware store. And last thing, let's look how to correct a crooked light switch or outlet. So you're gonna see this more on Decora or rocker switches like this because they have such a broad, flat face that's easy to see when they're crooked or angled. So let me show you what's going on and usually it's a pretty quick fix. So the most common culprit for this is the wires that are tucked or crammed back into the box are pushing on one side of the switch or one side of the outlet. So what you can do is loosen the switch up a bit. And I do have the power off, which will confirm with a non-contact voltage tester. But since that power is off, you need to be a little careful, depending on the type of switch or outlet you have, you have the mounting yoke, and that's really the structure of the overall switch or outlet, and then you'll have some type of plastic housing. But usually, 
you can take a screwdriver and just apply a little bit of force, again, being careful not to damage your drywall and not to damage the overall outlet itself. And you can straighten that out by bending those wires behind. Now, if you have a really bad case, I do recommend just uninstalling that, straightening those wires and then tucking them back opposed to really cramming them into the box. I'll go ahead and use that template again to get things lined up, making sure things are where we want them and then tightening down those mounting screws. All right, then we'll go ahead and put our wall plate back on. That is really all there is to correcting crooked light switches or outlets. Just make sure you have the power off when you're trying to straighten everything out. So let me know what you guys think. Have you used a template like this before or do you have another method to get everything lined up when you're installing switches or outlets? If you wanna dive deeper in these switches right here and how to install them, check out this video right here and I'll show you how to install a standard light switch if that project is in your future. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.